Hey everybody, um, this is Ron from Makata USA. I am going to do a video because uh, we had a lot of requests on how to, you know, register the radio and how to get it set up from the beginning. So we have a, a brand new V Control Touch here from the beginning, and um, we're gonna go through the whole setup and show you how to set up your switches, how to register the radio, how to download the apps, how to set up the Wi-Fi, everything. So. When you pull your radio out of the box, obviously it looks just like this guy. It's still got the protect on the screen and everything. And the first thing you need to do is turn it on. Now, you have to turn it on with the switch in the back for the first time because it's been in the full off condition. So you just push this button and the radio comes on. And then it comes on and automatically goes to the setup assistant. Okay. So now you can choose to exit and um, start or you can do the setup from the beginning, which is what we're going to do. So you tap, you tap setup. And then you gotta tell it what language you want. With I speak English, so that's what we're gonna do. And then it's gonna look for Wi-Fi um, spots in order to be able to connect to. It's gonna scan uh, the area. And I have my phone set to a high spot, and I also have the Wi-Fi here in the home that we're gonna do. So um, it's gonna look through and find a hot spot here in a second. Oh, excuse me, a Wi-Fi network, and then we'll connect to that here in a second. Um, the one that it's on right now is kind of sketchy, so I'm going to look and see if it picks up my phone, and then uh, we'll use that as a watch spot. This one looks like it's got two there so far. I don't want to use that one either. So what we'll do is we'll go to my phone just to make sure it's on. And then hotspot is off, turn it back on, turn on Wi-Fi, make sure that's on. Okay, so now it should pick up my phone here as well. And that'll be the preferred hotspot for me because I know it works well. There's one here, the house doesn't work always well. So I'm gonna choose that and then I have to type in my password, which I don't really care if you guys see it. So now when you type in your password, you'll see it says connecting at the bottom. And then in a few seconds from now, it'll say connected, which it did. So the cool thing about it is whenever you decide um, you turn the radio on and your Wi-Fi is on, it'll automatically connect that network. You don't have to go to Wi-Fi and turn it on because it knows it's there. It'll automatically connect from that from now on. So now it's going through and it's setting up the basic the language for the radio and all the, the basic settings. And then it'll go through and we'll, we'll start the setup of um, the radio, the switches, um, registering the radio and the whole night. I'll show you how that goes. So let's give this a couple seconds. Let's go ahead and keep it on video. We'll watch it. And uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, Mikado has um, come out with a, a lot of cool new features for this radio. And I know you guys have seen a, a couple of the other videos I put out. Um, and I'm starting to find new stuff every day myself. So I'm going to probably make a couple new videos here within the next couple of weeks. So you guys can see some of the extra features that I found as well. Um, Why are you tapping my watch? Oh, <laughs> the V-Control on my watch. V-Control touch on the watch, yeah. I took that picture a while ago. It came out nice. So this is almost done. Okay, now it's going through the system. The system boot. And then it goes through basically the same thing it does with the manager. It goes through each system part and starts um, the download, the checking, and all that stuff. And then when we add the apps, it'll start to go through that again. So you can see it's actually going through the system now. And the speed of which this works is dependent upon highly of how good your Wi-Fi system is. So if your Wi-Fi system isn't any good, it'll take a while to do. I've heard people say it takes like eight or nine minutes to update a Neo. That means your, your Wi-Fi is just not very good. Um, it should only take a couple of minutes to do that. Okay, so it looks like we're getting close here. Get some tones. The update's finished. And now we can hit continue. All right, now... It's saying, now the basic setup you perform, you got a switch assignments, the stake modes, and all the stuff are, are lost. You got to basically, this is a completely factory reset. So you have to go through and you start everything over again. So we hit continue, and now we're going to go to the switch assignments. Okay, so now we're going to see, my assistant is going to tell me which switch on this radio he wants to be the motor switch. Point to the switch. Okay, so he wants this switch to be the motor switch. So if we go to motor and you tap on right next to switch, Literally, you can go and tap whatever switch you want it to be, but he said he wants switch two to be the motor switch, so you hit that, which it already is, hit switch two, and then it'll automatically be there. Now, the next thing to check and see if everything's the way you want, so you want it to be run forward, or you want it to be run when it's in the back position. Which way, forward or back? 
Do whatever you want. And then we'll All right. Yeah. All right. So we got right now. It's going to be. Um, this is kind of weird for me, so I'm going to switch this because I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to make it where it's run forward and it's off when it's in the back. So now that I kind of know the preferences of my assistant here, um, I'm pretty sure you want this to be the bank switch, right? All right, so we're gonna make that the bank switch. So we're gonna click on this number here, and then we're gonna go over here to banks. You see it says four is the front one, five is this one up here, and uh oh, I hit it a little too quick. And six is the one in the back back there. So we're gonna hit switch five, and that's gonna be the bank switch. So right now that's bank three in that position. Bank one is forward, which is backwards for me, so I'm gonna reverse it. And that's gonna make bank one, bank two, bank three, okay? Um, the other switches are optional switches, par lock and safety and all that stuff right now, but I'm just gonna show you those two because those are the two that are the most used that people go with. All right, next. I'm gonna exit this guy here, and we're gonna to go to the system settings. Okay, so this sets the time zone for what's going, uh, what you're gonna be as far as uh, Eastern Standard Time and all that stuff, and it really makes a big difference on you know, when you're setting updates in the times. So right now it is 9.03. So I need to change this guy until it gets to 9.03. Okay, so that means now it's it's gonna be the correct time from here, Eastern Standard Time for me. You change it until it gets to the right time and you're ready to go. The USB mode, this is where people get stuck sometimes. Now, when you if you wanna do this by the manager, you would have to hook up the USB and you would enable the USB stick mode and make it active and then the radio would connect to the USB the manager and work like it normally would, do the updates and everything. But um, if you don't do that, then you don't need the USB mode in order to get that. Um, the next one is the V-Bar control name. Um, that's as simple as typing it in and you go back in the back. Uh-oh. Type in the name, you go back, erase this, and we're gonna, we're gonna make this um, Now, now the best thing to do is don't, I made the mistake in hitting this X button a couple times thinking it was the enter, but it's not. You have to hit the enter button down here and it changes it to, to the name you want it to be. Now the edit, you can do the stick mode, which mode two is um, what most people use. So that's what it's set on. So we're gonna leave it at that. The brightness of the screen is totally up to you. The click volumes, the telemetry volumes, all the volumes are here. Um, the menu with the gyro, is whenever you tilt the radio left or right, it'll open or close the menus if you decide to do that. The Wi-Fi auto start, which is what it's always on uh, default, it'll automatically pick up the Wi-Fi and start to do send the, the information to vstavia.info for your cloud. So if you have particular models in here, do you wanna set, um, you save models to the radio, it'll send them to the cloud. You can upload pictures for those and then download them directly to the, the radio itself. Online service is the auto start as well. It'll do that if, if you need it. Uh, the cloud, activate. you have to activate the cloud. And when you do that, what it does is that's when it sends all the information to vstavia.info and allows them to basically track all the movements for your radio. It saves your logs, it saves your telemetry data, it saves the, the model data too, so you never lose that stuff. The active idle. Active idle is really cool. That's the one that when it shuts off, you turn it off, you can actually turn on a Neo and it'll power up by itself. Um, you can bypass that by when you go to shut off the, motor, the, the radio, you can actually hold the, when you slide it and hold the button down, you can go full off and that'll shut that off completely. So at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about your radio sitting idle for eight hours waiting to shut down. Auto switch off, we're gonna turn that on and you can adjust the time for whatever you want and it's done in seconds. So um, so say three minutes is 180 seconds. So you can change this down to 180 and then we're good to go. So after three minutes, this guy will shut off by itself. Okay, so we've already done that pane. It's ready to go. And then the next thing is you can hit continue. Now this is how we're gonna register it. This is the part where people get the most confused. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you have a QR reader on your phone, okay? The QR reader is free. You can download it for the for the, uh, for the the uh, any Apple phone. Um, 
the the thing that works differently is the QR reader itself has its own um, uh, its own browser. So if you use the QR reader to log into vstavy.info, it may say access denied. And if it does, all you do is just go to that page and log into vstavy.info to the QR reader again, and then it will go and allow you to do it. Right now, it should be logged into vstavy.info. We'll see, and we'll see if we can log this guy in. So you roll in until it sees it, and then you see an, uh, a URL comes up. You tap that URL, and then it takes me to vstavy.info. We'll see if it lets me log in or not. Okay, so I'm already logged in, so it goes there, and it says unregistered device, and it's just like you do in Neo. You hit register here, and it says, do you want to register it? You say yes, and hit okay. And then this guy is going to go through, and it's going to register this V control touch to my account. Okay, we're gonna wait a second and it's gonna go green and it'll say registered. Give it a couple seconds here. There we go. So it's all registered up. So everything's ready to go. So there's two ways you can do the installation of the apps at this point. You can do it from here. Or you can do it from the radio. So what there's ways you can do it here. You, if you go through, and I start at the bottom, and one, two, okay. 